Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2021 ski test videos. Today we're talking about this Nordica Enforcer 110 Free. Uh, awesome ski from Nordica. It's been around for a few seasons now and it's one of kind of two skis in their line that pretty squarely fall into the powder ski realm. Um, so for our, in our purposes here, it's, it's in the free ride ski, but at 110 underfoot, it's, it's really a really good powder ski. Uh, let's, let's start by talking about shape because that's pretty important when we're talking about a soft snow ski. Uh, you get camber underfoot, but you also get a ton of tip and tail rocker. Uh, maybe not as much as you see in some skis like Solomon QST 118 or something with really abrupt long rocker in the tips and tails, but there's still quite a bit. Um, but you do get that nice camber underfoot. So if you happen to get back on a cat track or maybe you're skiing afternoon choppy tracked out conditions, uh, that really helps for that application. Um, another thing that's important about this ski is you get kind of this smooth early taper and a blunt shape in the tip. Um, what that does is when you combine it with the rocker, if you're up on edge, you get a long effective edge, you get good stability, but when you're riding a flatter ski, it allows the ski to pivot more, um, which is a pretty important element to all Enforcer skis, but especially the Enforcer free models because it carries through into the tail of the ski as well. Um, wood core in this ski, there's two sheets of metal as well. Uh, it's a little bit thinner metal than we see in some skis out there, which is another important design element of the Enforcer skis and something that's made them so popular. So you get the vibration damping, you get the stability, you get all the benefits of metal, um, but they're a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more playful feeling doesn't add quite as much weight or as stiff of a flex, uh, which is really cool. Um, so for performance on these things, you know, I think the, the big things to think about is you get a lot of float, but you also get a lot of stability. Um, so if you're a, a pretty aggressive skier looking for a powder ski, this is a really good option. Um, I guess you don't have to be like the world's most aggressive skier. And if you are, maybe it's not quite you know there are skis out there that are stiffer with flatter tails for like charging down big mountain lines at 70 miles an hour but an aggressive skier can get on these and pretty much ski anything and, and you're going to be really happy about it um, they also have really really good float so at 110 underfoot they're not the biggest ski in the world but the tip and tail shape just gives the ski a lot of surface area so it stays on top of the snow really nicely um, Probably one of my favorite things about them is kind of how it blends that stability and, and the flotation with a relatively maneuverable feel too. And that's going back to that shape where if you're kind of riding a flatter ski, you can let it pivot and smear. Um, so yeah, great choice in powder ski for really anybody, but probably that upper echelon, at least a athletic intermediate, maybe advanced on up skier. If you're looking for a powder ski with a nice, combination of characteristics, you know, not just a playful powder ski and not like a super stiff charger. This is a really, really good mix of performance characteristics in the Enforcer 110. Perhaps a little bit heavy for an Alpine Touring ski, um, but we certainly don't expect that to stop a lot of skiers, or maybe not a lot, but we know there'll be skiers out there that are mounting AT bindings on these, especially if it's more of a hybrid AT binding. Um, so head on over to SkiEssentials.com. Plenty more feedback from other testers on this ski. You can ask us anything you want, leave a comment, you know, get clarification on performance or, or anything about it. Um, and of course, you can shop for these as well with us. Uh, we typically always try and have this ski in stock. Um, you know, if you don't see a link that you want, feel free to give us a call or ask our customer service any questions if you, if you want to know more about it. So thanks, guys. We'll see you on the slopes.